All right, hello again. This is a minimalist video all about our medicine cabinet and our first aid. I've been a registered nurse for 10 years, so this is going to kind of be very health focused, but also very minimalist because I don't want a whole bunch of stuff and we live in a very tiny 360 square foot tiny house. <laughs> I actually don't keep any medicine or first aid in the bathroom because the bathroom cabinets are low and I have two young kids and I don't want my four-year-old or six-year-old accidentally getting into the medicine or the bright blue NyQuil that we have that looks like blue Gatorade. So I just keep it super high up on these really, really high cabinets in the kitchen and I will show you. Uh, but first I'll show you a beautiful picture of my kitchen right after we Build a tiny house and renovated it right here. Okay, now I'm gonna show you where we keep all of our medicine and then I'm gonna show you our little first aid kit that we carry with us, travel with. It's pretty much our only first aid. So let me show you. Okay, um, I don't know if I could turn it around. This is the kitchen. These are the high up cabinets. I hope you can see that. All right, so let's open them up. And there are two shelves here. So the top shelf has two different types of like NyQuil, DayQuil. And then I have like these uh, cough drops that are uh, for severe. They have Vicks in them. Those were super helpful. And then this is Nauzine. I actually haven't used this one yet. It's totally new in the box. It's supposed to be for nausea on car trips and we take a lot of uh, road trips with the kids. So yeah, I haven't had to use it thankfully. They have not been nauseous, but we take it on car trips and then just put it right back on the shelf. All right, so that is the top shelf just in case people get super, super sick with some kind of really bad upper respiratory infection or the flu and they just need some relief. That's what this top section is for. And then the bottom section, we have here uh, two different types of Aleve. Um, I think this one is completely full. I don't think that one is even open. And this one uh, really just for muscle and back pain if you need an anti-inflammatory, like maybe you have like a bad knee and maybe you need some relief from that, I would not suggest Aleve. I would suggest Advil or ibuprofen, like an anti-inflammatory, uh, just so you know. <laughs> um, and then we have some stuff for the kids. We have Tylenol and Motrin. Um, we use both. We prefer Motrin, especially for fevers. Uh, we don't really give the kids pain reliever. I can't think of a time that the kids would need pain reliever. They've never had any like procedures or surgeries. Thank God, knock on wood. Um, so we really only use it when they had fevers. They had really high fevers last year. I don't know who got it first. They were like both contagious together. <laughs> I got um, it first. I think she's right. Um, but they had really high fevers and flu-like symptoms. I'm not sure if it was really the flu but so we used tylenol and motrin um i think the highest one was like 103 really scary so we gave motrin and then you have to wait six hours in between but because the fever was still creeping up like 101 right in the middle of the six hours at like hour three we would alternate with tylenol so three hours later we would give tylenol to treat the fever and then three hours later would be the six hour mark and we'd give more Motrin. Maybe that was more explanation than you needed. Um, we have a bottle of Benadryl just in case for like allergic reactions. Um, I should probably check if it's expired because we've had it forever. It is expired. Look at that. It just expired two months ago. That's what happens when you don't use medicine. All right. And what else do we have? Oh, I got like this natural uh cold and congestion when they had like their upper respiratory infection last year or no it would have been this year in february they got one really bad and man they were so congested they had so much trouble sleeping so finally um 
it was probably like 10 o'clock at night, I ran to Target and got some like congestion medicine, anything to give them relief. If you're a parent, you know, when your kid is suffering, you're like, I will do anything <laughs> to make you feel better and let you get a good night's rest. Um, oh, and then I also got this all natural cough syrup because especially Walter, he would cough and he would cough so hard that he would wake himself up. And so, oh, so sad. Um, it's made out of dark honey and ivy leaf with natural grape flavor. Super hippy dippy stuff. And then this is a, um, a thermometer. It takes the temperature through the ear and then I have like a traditional little thermometer there um, to take the temperature in their mouth. That's all the medicine we have. Um, me and Alex and the kids were not on any prescription medications, daily or monthly or anything like that. So we don't have any of that kind of medicine in there. Now let's talk about first aid. So of course we're minimalists. We don't have a huge first aid kit. This is it. It comes in the car with us when we like go hiking or go on road trips. Um, it gets stuffed in my backpack. It just kind of comes everywhere with us. Otherwise it stays here in the tiny house. Um, this little thing hanging off the side is an emergency flashlight. This little thing clipped on the edge, you could probably see it, is a super sharp knife. In case we need to chop any limbs off or anything. I'm just kidding. All right, let me see how well I can open this with one hand. Ha, did it, okay. All right, it opens. Oh, I don't want it to all fall out. Okay, so let's talk about what I have here. Um, this is an elastic bandage, and this is like to wrap ankles, things like that. This is Advil. Um, it really is Advil, I promise. Um, we have some lotion, all different sizes of Band-Aids in here, and then a little tiny, little bitty, uh, bit of burn cream it's not your normal uh silver silvadine or anything like that it's like lidocaine and benza something inside of there uh, these are uh, gloves non-sterile gloves in case things get really messy it's just regular um sterile gauze there's a couple of those in there um sharp scissors in case we need to cut anything chapstick i mean come on who doesn't need chapstick and then of course triple antibiotic or this is benadryl i thought it was a triple antibiotic um extra strength benadryl i feel like my kids are magnets to mosquitoes <laughs> and like bug bites more walter so we have that in there these are alcohol prep pads um just a good little cleaning thing to any wound this used to be tums well there's still a few left um, it's really not great to keep in a first aid kit that you throw around because then it turns to chalk. A bunch of wet ones, antibacterial wipes that you can use anytime before you eat or maybe you touch something disgusting. A lighter. Lighter is always useful. You never know when you're going to need a lighter. More gauze. And there's some flat like 4x4 four four and 2x2 two two gauze in there um there's these really super sanitary wipes called cavi wipes these are super powerful i would not use these on anything i mean this kills hepatitis it kills all the staff it kills the flu um anything that's vanco resistant which is a type of antibiotic that is like super duper strong um this kills c diff um it can kill types of tuberculosis. It's like a super de duper wipe. Um, so we probably won't use this. Um, also, I have little. What are these called? Oh my gosh, my brain is super not working. <laughs> um, Q tips. Um, sometimes it's easier to apply medicine with Q tips or like triple antibiotic or Benadryl with Q tips. I also have a nail clipper, um, Steri strips. If you get a cut and maybe you're waiting to get stitches or you need to go get stitches, or maybe it's not that bad and you don't need full stitches, 
these are super great these are called um, butterfly stitches or stary strips is the name that everybody uses and this is uh, <laughs> moleskin <laughs> um, I don't think it's made out of real moleskin but it's really great for um, I think dr. Scholes makes this but it's really great for um, your heels like if you have a blister or something like that put it on the back of your heel and you'll be fine uh, some visine for your eyes oh this is gonna be so messy. um sunscreen um it is technically you can use it all over they sell it in the sun in the um, like lip balm area but you can use it all over it's really good for the face actually and I think that's it. Oh, we've got some Benadryl tablets in case you have an allergic reaction. Benadryl and then a scalpel in case of emergencies and some uh, chloroprep and triple antibiotic ointments. And that is it. That is my whole first aid kit <laughs> um, thankfully we don't use it all the time just really like bug bites and simple little cuts and band-aids but I really don't think you need more than that I think that pretty much covers everything it's nice to have it all in one little spot um, let me know if you want links to that little first aid bag I think I got it on Amazon probably where I do all my shopping so yeah that is how a nurse slash minimalist uh, does her first aid and medicine cabinet. There you go. Any questions, put them below in the comments. Um, I would really appreciate it if you would give me a little thumbs up, like this video, and if tiny house minimalist travel adventure is your thing, I really hope that you would subscribe to this channel. So we'll see you next time. Bye.